11 fights, 11 victories, nine of them coming my way of knockout. Fighting out of Manchester, England, here is the practitioner of artistic violence, Jordan Troublesome Thompson. Thompson. Okay, boys, have a cold break, take a step back. Don't deliberately throw punches to the back of the head and protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up. Good luck, lads. Referee Steve Gray, no small man himself, but dwarfed by these two big cruiserweights, particularly this man, Jordan Thompson. Nine knockouts from his first 11 pro contests. Do not blink. It's scheduled for six rounds, and, well, Piotr Podlutski put a lot of pressure on him the first 30, 45 seconds in his first contest. He dealt with it well, and Buzhezewski is trying the same tactic. I mean, that's what he's got to do here. Yeah, close that gap. Stay away from them long, long levers. Just dip in. Similar to Dixon's way in on in her fight that she needs to. Oh, oh and he's gone down on a jab already. And the problem with walking forwards is that it magnifies any impact that catches you clean. And he walked into heavy leather with the lead hand from Thompson. And well, almost looks frustrated there that it took as much as a jab to put his man down. But now he's starting to put the shots together. Bruzzeski trying to close that gap because I think close is probably a little bit safer for him. But an uppercut wrong drops him face first. And Steve Gray has waved the count off less than a minute. And he calls himself the practitioner of artistic violence. He didn't have a lot of time to work on the canvas, but another destructive win inside the first round for Jordan Thompson. Hard to take too much from that, Fabio, but this guy can really punch. Yeah, there's something about people with, with the kind of frame that, that Jordan Thompson's got, those John Tay Wilder-esque kind of, the way they're built with those long levers with like Tommy Hearn, same thing, where they're just big, long, rangy people, and they, they can generate so much torque and so much power just through a frame like that, that, as you can see right here, that that uppercut there would just sit him straight down. So, yeah, uh, you can see in the corner as well, he seems a bit frustrated with this, which is, I can understand that, because when you, when you have a whole camp and you build towards the fight and all the anticipation and you get all the way there and then for it to end so quickly, there is a little bit of, a little bit of annoyance that you want to, you really want to get some experience and get something out of it. Well, I pick up with a rear hand that skimmed the, looked like it skimmed the forehead of Bujizewski. He really had to go high risk, high reward as far as tactics are concerned. Come at him, roll the dice, but unfortunately it was uh, a very, very early night for him. And well, for Jordan Thompson, who hasn't boxed in two years before his last contest, has got less than two minutes working in his last two fights since coming back to action. He's going to need someone a little bit more durable next year, Fabio. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's it's something in the early stages of your career that you, that you do face, is that especially cruiserweights, heavyweights, the bigger the bigger guys, you usually tend to get your opponents out pretty early. And the thing is, like, like I was saying before, he, he seems a bit frustrated because you want to get experience. You want to, like I was saying in the other fight, you want to tick off as many boxes as you can early on before you get stuck into harder fights. OK, well, the inevitable announcement. We're standing by David Diamante, Steve Gray, Andy Lee and Jordan Thompson all in the ring. Let's head over to David. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Gray reaches the count of 10 at 53 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by knockout. He's still undefeated from Manchester, England. Jordan Troublesome Thompson.